The Jeep Gladiator is one of the hottest trucks on the market right now, and it's easy to see why. It's rugged, versatile, and packed with features that make it an excellent choice for anyone who wants a truck that can handle anything. Simple Car Guy here, and in this video, we're going to cover 10 things you probably didn't know about the Jeep Gladiator. So let's get started. We'll start with some better known ones and then get into more interesting ones later on in the video. But in case you're new to the brand, the first thing you might not know about the Jeep Gladiator is that it was first introduced back in the 60s. It was produced until late 80s and then disappeared from the market for several decades until it was reintroduced in 2019. The second interesting fact about the Gladiator is that it's based on the Jeep Wrangler, which is one of the most iconic off-road vehicles in history. And I'm sure you could have easily guessed that from just looking at this vehicle, even if you didn't know this interesting fact. That also means that it shares a lot of the same features, such as the removable doors, the fold-down windshield, and the iconic seven-slot grille. However, the Gladiator has a much longer wheelbase of 137 inches, which makes it more stable and better suited for towing and hauling heavy loads. It's also cutting it very close to being a full-size truck rather than the advertised mid-size class, which gives it a much better ride as a result. The third thing you may not know about the Jeep Gladiator is that it's the only convertible pickup truck on the market. You can remove the doors, the roof, just like I have here, and even fold down the windshield for a truly open air driving experience. The coolest thing is that it comes with a variety of roof options as well. You can get a soft top, or a three-piece modular top like I have on this truck. The modular top is particularly interesting because you can remove the panels above the driver and the passenger and still leave the rest of the roof intact. The different roofs are just one of many add-ons or options that are available on this truck. Jeep is known for its accessories and the Gladiator is no exception. There are more than 200 available accessories for the Gladiator, including running boards, wheels and tires, bed liners, and even a rooftop tent. One that caught my attention was a handy in-bed built-in rail system that allows you to easily attach accessories like bike racks, cargo nets, or tie-down straps. The system is hidden underneath the bed rails and can be accessed by sliding off the plastic covers. And if you look closer to the front of the bed, you'll also see two dirt bike tire threads showing where you would align the bikes when loading up. So there's one here and there's one on that side as well. This truck unfortunately does not have this option, but it can be added after market if you want one. And it's super easy to install because you have bolt threads just right here. All around the bed, you could easily bolt that in and then have that system ready to go. But basically the idea is that this truck has so many accessories you can put on and really customize it and make it your own. One thing that sets the Gladiator apart from other mid-size pickup trucks is its impressive payload capacity. It can carry up to 1,600 pounds in the bed here and tow up to 7,650 pounds behind it, of course with the tow package, or 4,000 pounds standard, which is more than enough to tow a boat, a trailer, or even another car. There are a few things to consider here. If you're going for max towing capacity, do not get the manual as it's limited to 4,000 pounds. The optional 260 horsepower and 442 pound feet of torque 3 liter V6 Eco Diesel engine also limits the towing capacity to between six and six and a half thousand pounds, depending on the model, but at least it's much more efficient at it. Luckily, all models are pre-wired for brake controller for trailering, which is a good thing. The Gladiator's five foot bed might be small, but what's really interesting is that you can lock it in two different positions. This allows you to carry longer items like lumber or kayaks and not have them slide out, and also give you a flat surface if you are working out in the field. How does that work? Well, pretty simple. So you just pull it up halfway up like that. You put it behind this little nubbit right here. So just like that. And there it is. See? Second position, you can load things up and now they are more in an angle and they're not gonna slide out. Pretty cool feature right there. 
Despite being a truck, the Gladiator has some serious off-road capabilities. It has high ground clearance, excellent approach and departure angles, and can even handle water crossings up to 30 inches deep. Some models also have a pretty cool unique feature called the trail cap, which is a front-facing camera that helps you navigate tight spaces and tricky terrain. It even has a built-in washer to keep the lenses clean. When off-roading, it's also very helpful to know what gear you are in, even if your truck is automatic. So you can add that view the settings in the dashboard, and now it will show you current gear along the D marker. The entire cluster is very configurable, so it's worth playing with it for a while to see how you can customize it. Lastly, if you lift or lower your truck, remember that the headlights are adjustable with a screw under the hood. The beam should be 36 inches off the ground at 25 foot distance. This way, you aren't blinding anyone while driving. Speaking of under the hood, you don't need to have access to the car to access the engine. You can simply unlock it on each side and pop it open. I've already done this side, so I'm just gonna do it on, on this side right here. Pop it open, push this thing to the side, and there you go, you have access to the engine. Of course, if the key's not present, there is a built-in alarm, but the battery is just right here, and it would only take maybe a couple of minutes to disconnect it. Not something I've seen on any other modern car. Number eight is a little bit difficult to show and thus the weird camera angle, but I have also not seen buttons on the back of steering wheels on many other cars. The right side of the steering wheel, so these buttons just right here, control the radio volume and the center so that little button here in the center controls the source, so like AM, FM, XM, or whatever else. On the left side of the steering wheel, top and bottom of the switch control tuning up and down, and the center of switch controls saved favorites. However, if you're using cruise control, the functionality changes so that you can use the buttons to increase or decrease speed. Very handy. If you're not a Jeep enthusiast, you may also not know that the Gladiator has many, many interesting Easter eggs hidden throughout the entire vehicle. I won't show you all of them in this video as there are 20 minute videos focusing just on this, but you will find the iconic grill in many places such as the headlights, top of the hood, taillights, bed of the truck, and the interior trim pieces as well. There's also a small Jeep silhouette printed on the windshield, the wheels, all weather floor mats and other places. Another popular one is the 419 area code stamped on the left side of the bed, which is the area code where the Toledo assembly complex is located and where the Wrangler and Gladiators are both built. There are many more Easter eggs, such as the flip-flops on the windshield cowl or the fact that the key is the same size as the rear doors or that it fits perfectly in between the cups in its own little spot where the cup holders are on the inside. But anyway, I'll let you explore the rest on your own. And finally, the last thing you may not have known about the Jeep Gladiator is that it has won numerous awards since its reintroduction in 2019. It was named the North American Truck of the Year, the 4x4 of the Year by the Four Wheeler Magazine, also the Best Off-Road Vehicle by the Texas Auto Riders Association, and it has also won the Best Mid-Size Pickup Truck Award from the Car and Driver. And there you have it guys, 10 things you may not have known about the Jeep Gladiator. If you have any other interesting facts or experiences with this vehicle, feel free to share them down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to click on this video where I talk about the reliability of these Jeeps. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Probably in not as nice of a location as this, but Hopefully I'll see you.